Good evening. Another Digel Bukuma production for Arandria Scans presenting Typesetting 3. In the previous production, we provided an explanation as to the different types of typesetting text that you're going to be using. One of the reasons we talked about these different types is the importance of getting it organized when you begin doing your typesetting. Okay, since the last video that we did, there's been some slight changes. I'm no longer using Photoshop 7, but I'm now using Photoshop CS2. We're still in a Linux environment. What I wanted to talk to you folks about was the importance of getting the layers organized that you're working with. This is a page here from A-Girls, a series that I was doing for Phoenix. In this particular, I chose this page because it has several examples of the type of text that we're going to be working with. I wanted to also show it to you as a way of getting it organized. Now I've got here a screenshot of the layers where you can see the different folders. So what I've done is I've created a typesetting folder and then underneath it I've placed the very folders for the various different types of text. The special effects, stress, I like to differentiate between stress and ordinary dialogue. Then we have the shouts, then we have the dialogue itself. Now the way that you create groups, going back here to the Photoshop, is actually very simple. Under the Layers tab, you then go to the Menu button over here on the right. Let me shift the camera so you can get a slightly better view of that. There we go. Now, you then click the Menu button. You'll get the menu here. One of the choices will be New Group. So you then select the New Group. As you can see, I'll shift the camera here again, a dialog box will appear. You then type in the name of the group, the particular dialogue type or text type that you're going to be using. Then you select OK. It will create the new group. I don't need a new one here, so I'm going to hit Cancel. You're not able to access that from right mouse click. As you can see, you have the ability to manipulate the layers, but not the groups. That has to be done through the menu button here. Now, also, since we're talking about organization, let me cover one other thing as well. In your typesetting, I highly recommend that you keep a notebook, and in it, you keep track of the projects that you're working on, the fonts that you're using, and other notes that you may need. This is especially important because when you start working on several projects at a time, after a while, trying to rely on your memory becomes a real problem. Here's an example page. The project name, the image size, dialog, oh, pardon. The image size is important because you'll need to keep track of what image size you're using when you're doing the typesetting, either the 1200 or 1400 pixels. The dialog, the type of font that you're using, shouts, asides, SFX, thinks, captions, SFX and bubbles, narration, signs, footnotes, electronics, and so forth. I'll also include, off and off to one side, notes about who in the group that I contact to keep track of projects, like, hey, I've got this done, where do you want it sent? In the next episode, we are finally going to get where a lot of you have been wanting to go, and that is talking about getting things actually started, opening up the file, selecting the font to use, and so forth.